Hello guys, welcome to another vid. In this one, we're going to be having a look at some essential pieces of kit. Your shoes. I've decided to do a review on these. Um, these are quite new to me. I've had these for about two or three weeks now. These are the uh, Caramore Aspen Vibran, I think they're called, something like that. You can pick these up on eBay for around 35 to 45 pounds, I believe. Um, there is a link in the description down below uh, if you uh, would like to get a pair. First impressions out of the box, very nice pair of shoes. Um, the waterproofing on them is very good. And the bit I did like the most um, was the fact that it's got a protective cap on the end, uh, which you don't get with some shoes. Um, obviously, you get a lot of water ingress through the end, especially if you're walking through grass and stuff like that. But these are, these are advertised as completely waterproof. Um, as to how well they breathe for your feet, I've not actually used these for extended walking. Um, I've done a bit of walking in them, but not where my feet have got really hot. So I haven't really re been able to test it. But assuming that these are fully waterproof, then um, I would imagine that your feet may sweat in them a little bit. Um, I did read a couple of reviews on Amazon. I think a couple of them said that their, their feet got quite sweaty in them. Uh, due to the fact that they were so watertight uh, um, they weren't the the sort of variation wasn't that good they got good grip on them it's so obviously if you're going across uh, rocky stuff and things like that it's got a nice flexible sole which isn't too stiff either um, which is which makes them quite comfy on long walks um, what i did find though um, as to whether it's because the sole rubber is still rather new, um, I did find that these are very slippery when you first try them. Um, I've had them on for just over a week and they're still a little bit slippery. Uh, if you get like on a curb or something like that, or somewhere where there's a bit of moss or um, it's a, sort of a bit of a slippery ground, um, then I reckon you could probably go flying in these. <laughs> I mean, I wear work boots most of the time and I don't have the problem with the work boots, but I did have a problem with these. Like I say, it might be because the, uh, the rubber hasn't really worn down very much. Generally, they're pretty good, but I did find them to be quite slippery. Uh, but like I say, as to whether they'd be like that further down the line, I don't know. First impressions after two weeks, I'm very happy with them. Um, the lacing's nice as well because you've got the tongue in there, which is stitched all the way up through, all the way up through here and on this side as well, which makes it very watertight. So if you get water over the top, like so, um, it doesn't go in through the tongue and round by the laces like it does with a lot of other shoes. So that's a, that's a good feature with these, which I liked, which I thought was a good idea. Yeah, so I've done quite a few miles in these. Um, what I usually find is these start to break up through here. They usually go on this bit here, where you're, uh, where you're flexing your feet there. You can see a couple of little lines there. As to whether that's gonna give us longevity and they're gonna last a long time, I don't know. Um, obviously time will tell. The other thing I quite like as well is um, the tabs for the shoelaces, which you can see there. They're actually material tabs, which I find is better than the metal ones. Uh, if you get the metal tabs, they tend to go a little bit rusty sometimes and uh, they start to chew through the laces and then uh, you end up with the laces snapping. Um, but I find with these, the fact that these, these are a material makes them a lot better on your laces. I would say the cushioning on these, in, on the insole is quite good as well. You've got nice protection around the back, around by your heel as well which is nice, but it's also thin. You get this padding goes all the way around the back of your shoe and, and then it starts to rub the back of your foot when you walk. But the good thing with this one is it, it, it's sort of squashed in a little bit there in the middle, which stops your sh which stops the back of your heel rubbing, which I thought was also a good idea. They've stitched it in such a way that 
It's actually thinner at the back, up through here. There's quite a lot of padding in these. So I think these will be quite good maybe in cold weather as well. So I think these will be quite good for keeping your feet warm. Now, if you decide you want to wear some padded socks, um, you know, like the woody, the woolly, woody, <laughs> the, the woolly socks for your, um, your walking boots and stuff like that, I would probably suggest going up an extra half a size. This size fits me perfectly. Um, I'm a size 10 and these are a size 10. And I think that if I were to put walking socks on with these shoes, uh, they would be quite tight and um, I think they'd become uncomfortable. So maybe to go up half a size if you can, if you're going to put thick socks in them. All in all, quite a nice shoe, really. Um, nice sole, good grip on there. Um, like I say, be careful when they're new because they can be slippery. Um, they're comfortable, uh, they're waterproof, watertight. Yeah, overall, a nice pair of shoes. Um, but if you're thinking of getting a pair of boots, definitely give these a give give these a look because um, I'm very pleased with these. They're very comfortable. So that's it. Um, sorry, this was a bit of a boring video, but as I do outdoor videos, I thought this was quite relevant, <laughs> and. Um, I was quite pleased with them, so I thought I would share it with you guys. So that's it. Um, lovely night to everybody. Have a great rest of the day, and um, we'll see you in the next vid. Keep walking. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe and click the bell icon. If you want regular updates, head over to my website. Over there, you'll see stay updated on every video. Put your email address in there and submit, and you'll get a regular update to every video I upload. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great rest of the day. Please like and subscribe and share the video, and I will see you in the next vid. Thank you.